Hello, my name is Marianne and welcome to Once a Duckling where I hope to inspire you to get crafty and make some fun and beautiful items for your home. And this week we are adding some fun to this galvanised planter which I picked up from the range. I'm using my Slick Stick Primer from Dixie Bell and adding two coats of primer. Make sure that the coats are dry in between before adding the next one. And I'm basically covering anything that you can see. So I'm doing the inside of the rim, the handles and the whole of the outside. Now I'm using my Rust-Oleum Chalk White Furniture Paint and as you can see it is a very well used tin of paint. Um, as chalk paint gets older it can get a bit stodgy so I'm using my water mister and adding a very fine spray of water to the surface of the design. This reactivates the paint and allows you to spread it out a lot easier. Now this design only needed one coat of white paint and you can use acrylic paint if you want to as well if you haven't got any uh, chalk paint handy. And then for the next step we're using some black enamel paint to paint those harlequin checks. I'm having a look to see which ones I decide to paint and decide that the small ones are going to be super difficult to get into. So opting for the ones next to it, following the pattern round. I'm using a slanted brush to really get into those corners. Pour yourself a cup of tea or coffee, get comfy. It's going to take a bit of time, it's not difficult but you need a bit of patience. Next I'm using some liquid gold and a very fine brush to give the detail on those crosses and separate the white from the black. Again it just takes a bit of patience but follow your design round and I decided to do the handles the gold colour as well. Make sure you leave it to dry before moving on to the next step. We just to add some colour with these gorgeous designs from Redesigned with Prima. I still had these left over from a previous project, they're called Sunflower Afternoon and I figured the big sunflower would be perfect for this project. Now as you can see it's going to be too big to add to one side, so first of all I'm getting rid of some of the smaller details to make it easier to work with. And then I'm going to have a look where I can chop the sunflower in half, having a look at the symmetry of the sunflower and deciding which is the best place to be able to make the cut. Carefully peel away the backing, place it onto your project and grab your transfer tool to make that transfer onto the planter. Now because this is on a slant it's going to take a bit more time. It's not as easy as it is on a flat surface but it's absolutely doable. Just take your time, bit of patience and keep going backwards and forwards. You might have to overlap it slightly, having some small creases and making sure that it sits okay on the slant and then repeat exactly the same process on the other side. As you can see I'm going over it, lifting up the transfer and if it's not completely stuck down just place it back and keep going over it until you're happy that the whole transfer is adhered to your project. The smaller bits that are cut off at the beginning of this video I am now sticking on the side and I'm really pleased with how it's taken shape. So for the gap between the sunflower transfer and the painted area I am adding a small amount of hot glue on the starting point on the side going around it with some twine. Add a small amount of glue here and there, you don't have to glue the whole thing it's to keep it in place and keep going around the whole project until the twine meets where you've added the transfer and fills up that border and it just adds a little bit of a farmhousey look to it. Okay so I wanted to add some fun to the top of the design but I didn't want to use the twine again I thought it might look a little bit too samey. I'm taking a pencil and I'm marking out some dots. Try to get them as equally spaced as you can. I think all in all I used eight dots, just spacing them out. You can get exact on this if you want to, but I kind of just eyeballed it. And then with my glue gun, I'm just dropping some dots, getting rid of any glue strands. Now this technique might take a little bit of practice on a bit of paper first, but go around your design and try to create those glue dots that are as symmetrical as you can get them and leave them to dry. Now once they're completely dried 
I'm taking my gilding liquid and a very fine brush and I'm painting them gold to match the harlequin design and the handles that we did earlier. And while I had the liquid gold out, I decided to do the inside of the handles as well. I didn't catch those on video, but it just finishes it off nicely, being able to see that gold from any angle. And finally, to seal in your transfer, I'm using a coat of Mod Podge to go over the top half of the planter. I didn't do the bottom half. I've just placed a plant in it on a piece of furniture. It's not gonna get a lot of wear and tear, but if you want to, you can completely do that as well. So just add a coat of Mod Podge, leave it to dry, add a plant of your choice, and stand back and admire your project. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. For further inspiration, Make sure to come and check me out at oncedocklin.com.